here's the scenario. Let's take a look at how we want to create a sub gigahertz playlist. So we have a number of signals, uh, sub gigahertz signals that we want to play over and over again, but we don't want to go in and out of each file every time to keep playing them. So we're going to create a playlist and here's how we do that. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here to my computer and we'll open up the QFlipper app. And in here we'll look for the files that I want. So for instance, I will go to sub gigahertz. And let's go to, there was one I saw here that I thought would be really good to play with. You know what, let's go here. We'll just do this. This is easy. So we've got a folder here called the best port opener for the Tesla. And if we go here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six six different sub gigahertz files that we can run. And I want to run them all uh, one at a time. So what I'm going to do is create a text file. So for instance, if I go over here, I created this one earlier just to see, here's the text file I need to create. So each one of these at the end, you can see corresponds to one of these here, right? This is the order it will play in. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the order it will play in right here. So you're essentially telling this text file, laying out exactly where, make sure to put the dot sub at the end, exactly where this file lays on your uh, on your flipper, on the SD card. Then you simply take this file that you've created, and if you want to put it in the correct place, you'll go to sub gigahertz. So now we're in the flipper, right? We'll go to sub gigahertz, and we will go to playlist, and we will stick it right in there. So for instance, I've got the Tesla playlist, which, you know, comes with the momentum firmware, but here is the longer one I played, I created right here. And so now, if I go over here, here, we'll disconnect this now, and let's go to the app. So if I go here, I go apps, And I go sub gigahertz, and we're looking for playlist, sub gigahertz playlist. And now we've got these six items. When you hit it, one, two, three, four. So five and six are the long ones, so they'll take a long time to play, but they will play, absolutely. And that is how you create a sub gigahertz playlist on the Flipper Zero. And apparently, this is how you have dirty thumbnails. In any case, that's how you create a sub gigahertz playlist on the Flipper Zero. And again, this is good for creating signals that you want to run a lot, but you don't want to go in and out and in and out and in and out of each file. You just want to create a playlist. It'll play all the files you want, 